so let's try to debug our code so here we go and let's check this line here we will console log whether it is getting inside this or not this block of inside transaction line 27 whether it is coming into line 27 or not let's do this so now it is just going to line 51 from here I try cash block line number 51 is this that means there is something wrong here okay we are doing our right here but we are missing our right here okay now it is now good let's check now here also we should pass sensation object okay now everything seems pretty fine let's try to make a request and here you can see there is no user's db present currently okay so one user's db is present request is empty response is empty okay user's db is empty request db is empty now we will try to make a request and let's see what happens so we made a request it get inside the line number request successfully added now let's see our request db so first check our request. so eisenberg age 25 object 0 object 1 everything got added here now request let's check the request as well so name got added date got added on which the request was made okay so this is how both the dbs got updated but what if some error occurs in between let's do this okay so we will try to throw some error here and check what happens so we will throw an error here after saving this uh, uh, here the new one db is getting saved here the user's request now we will throw an error here throw error checking transactions okay so the below course will be commented out so if any errors comes in between the updation of this db and the other db let's see what happens whether both dbs will be updated or not so let's make this request we will change this name to okay and everything should be now remain same let's make this request what happens so fail to add request inside line number 27 and that means it get inside here it try to execute this but let's see about what about our dv so nothing got added here and nothing will be getting added here as well okay so if you have some doubts then we can console something here as well that will indicate that this first db function was successfully saved db executed successfully okay so so that we can check that this was successfully uh, added but after adding this request while going to the next re next request if any uh, error occurs then the transaction will be aborted aborted and nothing will be saved okay we will be checking that only so let's make a request so you can see first db executed successfully and after that 
it encountered an error so let's check whether our first db got updated or not so this is db see nothing got updated because of transactions if if it will be successful then both db's will be updated other wise if it encounters any errors then nothing will be updated so if i comment out this one now if i do this will be okay same now if i make a request then let's see what happens request successfully added okay then first db is executed and then inside uh, inside transaction line 27 let's see what happens here let's go users db and you can see here that my name is present here and one more object is created here now let's go to request and you can see here also the request got added so this is how the transaction works in mongodb if you want to perform multiple database functions that are dependent on each other then you can use transactions to do them if it will be a successful request then both the dbs will be updated and if it will be if it will encounter any error then it will not update any of the dbs so this will be the end of our transaction videos and i'll be coming up with more interesting topics in nodejs mongodb as well so that's all for today have a great day guys if you like the video then please like comment and subscribe and don't forget to leave your valuable feedbacks thank you have a great day